What's up everybody? Matt here with Hollywood's Garage bringing you another vehicle feature. On our way now, we're about half an hour away. Uh, I ended up being about an hour away from uh, re my residence. Uh, the guy we're gonna go see, his name is Jamie. Um, I met him 10 years ago uh, through a Facebook page or a marketplace or a Kijiji ad for bike parts. Um, he ended up fat tiring a uh, bike that I needed a rear fender for and he had a spare rear fender. So we met up became friends, had the same bike, rode a few times. I ended up buying a third gen Camaro uh, like a month or two after. He liked it so much that he uh, he bought one as well. Um, so we kind of went through that. I'll show a picture of what they look like at the track here. And then, uh, so we just ended up being buddies. He ended up helping me tear the engine out of my third gen Camaro and putting in a 400 small block Chevy I talked about in my um, Pontiac feature there I did on my debut um, yeah so we ended up putting the car into his garage in, in like a January pulled the motor my stock 305 out of my third gen just few, it was just a 83 Z28 uh, carbureted so we uh, threw that in there threw it out and then put in the foreign small block Chevy he gave me a hand with that it took a, like a couple weekends I think or maybe a weekend and a couple afternoons like after work type thing uh, and then after that, he uh, we kind of um, went to the track a few times together, hung out a few times, and parted ways in a way. Um, life got busy, got in the way. He ended up, uh, we ended up kind of moving. I ended up moving out of the town we were met at, and then um, years later, we uh, met back up, and, and now he uh, completed a motor swap on his car, which he'll talk about. I never helped him on that one though, so I feel a little bad. I wish he would have called me and helped. I would have helped him out. But well, when we get there, we'll uh, I'll introduce Jamie and we'll get to his car. See you there. Okay, guys, we're back. Uh, so here we have a '92 Camaro RS. Some of you third-gen Camaro guys will know that it's uh, it's got little hidden Z28 badges all throughout. Where well, should say RS there, but he does have. The reason is because he likes the side skirts, he likes the body kit. But yeah, he's at 28. A badging does look sharp in my opinion too. Um, so it's a 92 Camaro. We had a factory 305 TBI engine. Um, he swapped it out to a 355 small block Chevy. Carbureted, did the swap himself in his garage. He said it was super simple. A little bit of research, was able to use factory fuel system. The 700R4, which is factory, it has a slight stall in it bolted right up runs fine no issues there as you can tell with the uh, little burnout video he's a one wheel appealer still factory rear end doesn't have the g i think it's a g38 or something rear end that came posy with these cars with disc brakes on the rear but this has drums which is pretty basic for these cars discs up front you put the 18 inch uh replica i rock wheels on it real sharp the car factory was red uh kachao red he ended up polishing up the paint. Um, when he bought it, it was faded. Like it never really, guy never really took care of it with the paint wise, but he got it all polished up, made it look good. He just wrapped it a couple months ago. This um, purple color with, it has a nice sparkle in it. You can see it in the sun. With the stripe package, which I think looks great. Sharp, sharp looking car. Lowered probably around two inches all the way around. Got a Super 10 Flowmaster muffler on it. Uh, you'll hear the exhaust clip there right before the burnout. Sounds wicked. Uh, I think it's single to the muffler and then dual out the back, which is pretty common. Third gens don't have much room for dual exhaust, let alone like a two and a half inch, three inch dual. So yeah, being an RS, I don't know quite know about them, but the RS, this one only has power steering, power brakes, cruise and AC. She got the roll up windows manual locks came with the steering wheel already in it so he's got no airbags or nothing like that automatic like i said 700 r4 it was rebuilt when he bought it pretty low miles or sorry kilometers 213 almost 214,000 kilometers for uh, freedom units that's probably like 160 thou 165 70 miles but it's got a new engine and a rebuilt trans, so it's pretty much mint. 
He's, uh, we'll open up the hood here. We'll take a look underneath. You can see the factory red. He wrapped mostly what you can see with everything closed. The guy did a really good job, to be honest. I mean, you'd wrap an engine bay would be hours and hours and pretty much got to remove everything. So, so yeah, so a 355, he bought off a mechanic that rebuilt it all, bottom, top to bottom with a build sheet, slight cam, uh, performance EPS intake. I think he has an Edelbrock carburetor. Pretty much, you know, the best carb for just getting it on and getting the car running and, and uh, not much for tuning. So yeah, these are his factory fuel lines here, coming from the factory system. So you can see his, he went rubber to the regulator and then the back and then obviously to the carb. Super simple. Just needed a regulator and some fittings and some rubber hose. Pretty, pretty minor. So he's still the AC on it, but he hasn't connected yet. He may not, he doesn't know quite if he wants to put the AC back on, but it's all there. See where the small pump was in the bottom there removed tank which is rare to be white and clean as everyone knows these tanks from the coolant end up being stained being sun faded dirty and just end up being looking like crap that looks nice and it almost looks new he does have a he did have a strut tower bracing as you can see removed it because the car is a little taller i think than the factory one did i think the intake or the air filter is a little taller than the factory too i can't quite remember but when i had my third gen but yeah, that's the engine. He's also got uh, it short tube headers, I think, or mid-length with the MSD wires. Same wire setup I had on mine too. Worked great. Do a tour of the trunk and show you the boom booms. Here you go, the boom booms. Dual tens. Look sharp. He's also got, uh, it's all lit up, purple LEDs at nighttime. Looks great, especially with the tinted rear window. So yeah, with these cars, you have a big, big trunk, kind of deep trunk here, so subs fit great. Hides it all, clean install, got his cap out. He's got his um, T-top bag there, which is pretty hard to find these days. Yeah, clean install too, even these purple zip ties. He likes, uh, he likes keeping it to one theme. That power down. Just gotta get it to click. So if you guys are interested, this car could be for sale for the right price. If you're interested, um, message me, DM me, hit in the comments and I'll pass it along to the owner, see if you'll, uh, you know, accept the offer or not, or you guys can discuss with each other after. But yeah, if you like it, comment, message me. If you have any questions about the uh, the swap, engine swap too, let me know and I'll, uh, I'll get some answers for you. Okay guys, well that'll be it for this video. Again, like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel. Um, I'll be doing car features as much as I can until the snow flies here in probably in a month. Then obviously with snow out, we don't bring our cars out. Okay, well, we'll see you guys on the next one.